and legends. They have used their creativity and skills to make their costumes look realistic and impressive. Let's give them a big round of applause as they come up on stage and introduce them. First, we will have the Great Five People. They have turned their models into gods and goddesses from Greek mythology. First, we have Ares, the god of war and courage, cosplayed by Jiro Anor. A big round of applause for him. Among those who dance, you will find and protect him and glory. He is a strong warrior, of course. He will fight till death. Once again, he is Ares, the god of war. Thank you, Jiro and me. Once again, that was Ares, the god of war and courage. Next, we have Kratos, the god of strength, cosplayed by Kate Ganyadet. Give him a big hand, everyone! Today, my lord is a cosplay as Kratos, known for having bravery and a lot of strength. And he is known for being a god of war, as he defeated Ares, the god of war. And Kratos is one of the strongest gods. Kratos is divinely known having one of the strongest swords to be wielded by him, ruling in every war. And the name of the sword is Blade of Olympus. Kratos has a son named Arceus, and people cherish him and worship him. And once again, I'm the God of War Kratos. Thank you for listening to me, everyone. Thank you, Luis. And now, let's go Once again, that was Apollo, 
the god of archery and music. Next, we have the gorgeous Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty, cosplayed by Freya Gagara. Give her a big hand. This is Aphrodite. Aphrodite, the goddess of sexual love, passion, and beauty. Her father, Zeus, is the king of the gods. Her mother, Diona, is one of the female titans in Greek mythology. She is, she is a, she is a, a second generation Olympian. Once again, she is Aphrodite, the most beautiful goddess in Greek mythology. Thank you for listening. Once again, that's Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty. Thank you, Cece and Rhea. Next, we have Zeus, the god of lightning and weather, cosplayed by Daniel Amoru. A big round of applause for him. Zeus is the god of thunder and the ruler of the Olympian god. His name, which means sky father, was derived from the Proto and Indo European word that means to shine. In ancient Greek culture, Zeus and his name were the personification of the sky. Zeus's name, name was originally used to describe his power. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Alki and Daniel. Once again, that was Zeus, the god of lightning and weather. Up next, we have Persephone, the goddess of spring, cosplayed by Maxine Iligan. Give her a big round of applause to support her, support her on stage. I stand before you today with great honor and reverence to introduce a figure of mythical grace and eternal significance. In our midst is the embodiment of Persephone, the goddess whose essence intertwines with the changing seasons and the intricate dance between life and death, with an aura that captures the essence of blooming spring and the mysterious allure of the underworld. She stands as a symbol of resilience and transformation. Thank you. Once again, that was Persephone, the goddess of spring. Next, we have Demeter, the goddess of harvest, cosplayed by Celine and Celeste Barba. Give her a big round of applause. Her name is She is the goddess of harvest and agriculture. She watches over the fertile earth with natural wish. She taught men how to graze and how to cultivate it. She is one of the twelve Olympian gods that live on Mount Olympus because she was the goddess of the harvest. She was very important to the farmers and to the people of Greece. Once again, her name is Demeter, goddess of harvest and agriculture. Thank you, Celeste and Shanalyn. Once again, that was the leader, the goddess of harvest. Up next, we have the powerful Poseidon, the god of the ocean, cosplayed by Kyle Cavallo. Give him a big round of applause. Hello everyone, he is Poseidon, the god of the sea. Just two siblings, which is Zeus and Hades. He is known for being the father of the Aside from that, he has a powerful weapon, which is his trident. It helps him to control the sea. The god of the ocean. Up next, we have the strong Achilles, the strongest warrior of the Trojan War, cosplayed by Rodal John Novo. You know, my hand, everyone. Greetings, everyone. My model is Achilles, the strongest human warrior. Achilles obtained the strength by baby in River State. Achilles then had refused to create a common saying that is Achilles' heel, which means weak spot. Achilles is part of the war. Achilles is the only god who got shot in the heel in the part that remains mortal. His soul rests in the depths of Tartarus. Thank you, Martinia and Arlene. That Once again, that was Achilles, the strongest warrior of the Trojan War. Last but not the least of the Greek five models, love Athena, the goddess of wisdom, cosplayed by Shello and Zona. Give her a big hand. Athena, revered as the Greek goddess of wisdom, courage, and strategic warfare, embodied the essence of intellect and, and prudent counsel. 
born fully grown and armored from the forehead of her father Zeus. She emerged as a symbol of wisdom, purest form, often depicted with a helmet and shield. She, sig she signifies not only the art of war, but also the strategic aspect of battle, emphasizing the importance of wisdom and conflict. Thank you, Shalom and Shalom. Once again, that was Alina. Thank you, everybody. Well,